guys, it's Ivy Fox. Welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's video, I'm going to be doing this makeup look for you guys whilst I answer some of your questions that you sent me on Instagram. If you want to get involved in these kind of videos, make sure you go and follow my Instagram, which is linked down below along with all my other links. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe and let's get into this makeup look. So I have already done my skincare because I wanted to give it a little bit of time to settle into my face. And also, I do my makeup in a little bit of a random order, I feel like. Everyone seems to have their own way of doing their makeup, but <laughs> don't judge me for the way that I do mine, please. So first thing is eyebrows, and I just have this bar of soap, and I spray a couple bits of this NYX setting spray on there, and then use a little spoolie brush is that what they're called i don't know and i just rub that into the soap and then put it on my eyebrows now i don't go all out with soap brows like some people have them like plastered halfway up their forehead and like do whatever the hell you want to do honestly but i kind of just use these as more of a way to set my eyebrow hairs in place and make them look a little bit more volume voluminous voluminous a little bit filler <laughs> it also really need to like pluck my eyebrows but it's one of those things i just keep forgetting to do and then every time i fill in my eyebrows i'm like oh my god i need to sort them out and then to fill them in a little bit i use this revolution hair stroke pen in dark brown this is perfect for making my eyebrows look a little bit more natural it's kind of like eyeliner but for your eyebrows which i think it works so well. But anyway, let's also get on to the questions, otherwise I will completely forget to do them. So the first question I got is, what is your favorite genre of music? Let's start off with something simple, you know, before we get into all the deep or super interesting questions. <laughs> but I definitely feel like my favorite genre is probably rock. I do listen to a lot of rock music. I listen to a lot of like old school rock music. I really enjoy a lot of like 80s rock. I listen to that kind of stuff all the time. But I am also a fan of like newer rock music as well. I feel like it's always really hard to pinpoint like a specific genre I listen to because I feel like I do listen to quite a variety. If you watched my last video, which was a vlog, you will know that I recently went to a rave and drum and bass music is amazing. I've started listening to that a bit more recently too. I don't know, I feel like it hypes me up, it puts me in a good mood and yeah, I just never really listened to it much before but after going to a couple of raves, I've learnt to appreciate it a lot more. I still listen to like other genres of music, you know, I listen to pop, I listen to indie, I listen to R&B, I listen to country, I listen to folk music, like even classical music sometimes. <laughs> so yeah, when people are like, oh, what music do you like? I find it really hard to answer that. Next, I'm just gonna prime my face and I think instead of telling you every single product I'm using, I will list them all in a description box for you guys. Along with all my link so that you can keep up with me on my social medias and follow along with me on all my different accounts if you are interested. I'm also going to use an eye primer. I don't do this all the time but when I'm doing a darker eye look I definitely like to do it and when I'm using like more than one eyeshadow color on my eyelid then I will just because it, I do find that it makes the color come out better and it stays on a lot longer. I am heavily running out of this. I hope there's enough in here. I do have another one but I want to make sure I use all of this up first. It is just a BB cream. This is like my holy grail. I have used this for months and I can't use anything else. Like whenever I try, it just, it doesn't look the same. It doesn't look as good. It goes funny on my skin. This is truly perfect. It's a Misha M BB cream. The next question is, what do you see yourself doing in 10 to 15 years? And honestly, I don't know. Like... There are obviously goals and aspirations I have that I want to either have achieved or be aiming for and I'm sure in 10 to 15 years, how old will I be? I'll be like 33 to 37, so yeah, I'll be like mid 30s. So hopefully, you know, I'll be living in a house that I own. So yeah, I want a nice house with a garden and I know that's a little bit superficial but honestly like buying a house in this day and age as we all know is 
hella difficult. So to be able to achieve that would be pretty damn amazing. And I feel like that would sort of give me a level of success or at least feel like I've accomplished something. It's also gonna be sustainable for my future and you know, maybe I'll have a kid at that point. I don't know, do I want kids? <sighs> I do, but I also think I'm not in a position to want them right now and I don't know when I'll be ready to. But I think that if I am gonna have kids or if I decide that I definitely want them, that I will probably have them by that point. But yeah, I think career-wise, I'm not sure. I've never known like at all what I wanted to do my, with my life career-wise. When I was at school, I didn't know what I wanted to do at college. When I was at college, I didn't know if I wanted to go to uni or what job I wanted to have. Like I've never known. There's never been anything that's like drastically stood out to me. When I was younger, I did like occasionally think about wouldn't it be fun to be on the West End, do like musical theater and stuff. But I don't know if that's viable now. Like. I feel like I have left it too late to go into something like that. But in regards to like any other career, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing next year, let alone in 10 to 15 in regards to my career and things change so drastically. So why is everybody and their mother making so much noise today. I think I'm just gonna have to ignore it and hope that you guys can't hear it too much. Career, you know, I'm taking this time whilst I'm earning and maybe earning more than I might ever in my life. Like, I hope it's not, but it could be, you never know. And being an OF creator, like you don't know what the future has in store for you. You don't in any career, but especially just self-employment in general. So I hope that even if I'm not doing this job in 10, 15 years time, which who knows that at least I'm doing something else that I love and that financially I'm stable. And I guess that's why I'm like putting in the effort now whilst I can to do that. Other than like some of the more superficial things in life, I think I just want to be happy. I want to be doing something that I love. I want to have made a load of memories. Like I would like to have traveled a lot more by then. And I'd like to think that I've grown as a person by then. Like that I would have learned a lot more about myself, about other people, that I will feel even more like in love with myself and learn to accept myself even more. The next question is, what's something you love to do during your free time? Now, I'm the kind of person that loves a lot of things, but doesn't always do them. I feel like there are so many things that bring me joy and make me happy, but I either don't have the energy to do them, or I don't have the time to do them, or I just procrastinate doing them for some silly reason. But a few things that I do in my life at the moment, which are a bit more consistent, are I read a lot. I've spoken a little bit more about this recently. I guess I just never really spoke about the fact I like reading because I didn't think people cared about my hobbies and stuff. They just wanted to see the more sexy side of me and that comes with the territory of the job that I do, I guess. But I also feel like I bond or I feel like I connect to creators better when they share more about their lives and who they are as a person as well as the content that they share. So I've been trying to do that and I don't know if it's the right thing to do but it makes me happier and I think I do get some good feedback from it too. So yeah, I am a sucker for a romance book. Honestly, I think I've read, I'm on my 10th book of the year and I had to stop reading for a couple of days because I dropped my book in the bath and it got really wet and so I physically couldn't read it but I didn't want to start a new book. I am currently reading a book called Wildfire. I don't know who it's by. However, I have been getting into classic novels recently. I read Frankenstein and The Count of Monte Cristo, both of them this year. So yeah, I really enjoy reading and I've also been going back to pole dancing classes which I don't know how many of you guys know, but a few years I used to do pole dancing all the time. Like I used to go to lessons for multiple hours a day, which now looking back on it, wasn't the healthiest thing for me to do 
I'll be completely honest with you. However, I did love it a lot too. But anyway, the pole studio I was at closed down maybe a year and a bit ago. And after COVID as well, I never fully got back into going as regularly as I used to, which was fine. It was good for me. But when the studio closed down, I just didn't know where to go. The studio kind of felt like a second home to me and I loved it with my whole heart. I went through a lot of bad times and dancing away the feelings and emotions that I had and just forgetting about them for a while. And I'm not good with trying new things at places I don't know. So the thought of going to a new pole studio was absolutely terrifying to me, but I have found one near where I live. And for the past couple of months, I've been going every so often, not as much as I'd like and as I should, but at the same time, I like being able to do it when I want to do it. And I definitely do want to get into some more classes because I enjoy it and I missed it a whole lot. There are other things I enjoy doing. I recently bought a new guitar because my last guitar fell on the floor and snapped. I started playing guitar when I was about 13 or 14 so it's been about 10 years now granted i'm not as good as you'd think i'd be for that much time because i don't play it consistently enough I did used to go to lessons when i first started but i stopped them a couple years in so i kind of just play guitar more to accompany singing and i just find it really relaxing and i recently wrote half of my first ever song it wasn't that good but it was something because i'm a big perfectionist so i find it hard but yeah i've always enjoyed singing and performing and stuff like that so although i just do it at home now and nobody really sees me do it i i like it a lot sometimes i do art sometimes i journal i like going out on little walks. I don't do some stuff. I've got so many things that I would class as hobbies that I don't do nearly enough, but I'm trying to get better at doing the things that I enjoy. The next question is <laughs> settle a debate for me, Jigglypuff or Hello Kitty? Now, I feel like this is a really important question and I wonder if you guys can guess what the answer is. Also, I'm just putting like a, a neutral color all over my eyelids. But if you didn't know, I have a Sanrio tattoo. I'm gonna say Hello Kitty because I don't have a Pokemon or a Jigglypuff tattoo. Someone asked, do you prefer winter or summer? And also I'm just going in with this like red color. I think I'm a summer person and that's probably because I was born in the summer. So it's my birthday and I'm a summer baby and I do a lot better when the weather is nicer. I definitely feel a lot more productive, a lot more motivated and I feel like everyone just seems that little bit happier in the summer so the atmosphere everywhere is so much nicer and i definitely get out a lot more of the house i am a big homebody i do love staying at home and i love snuggling up in the winter like having a hot bath reading my book watching a show on netflix under a blanket or playing fortnite or something however i do think that mentally it's beneficial to get out a lot more and it's a lot easier to do that in the summer thing is i really enjoy autumn like the beginning of winter as well where things haven't been cold or too gloomy for too long i feel like that's when i can really appreciate the season of it getting colder and getting a little bit darker earlier and stuff like that but during the midst of winter I it just it's too much for me and I do become a lot more demotivated and kind of fed up and as much as I try and enjoy like every season as it is and appreciate it all as it comes it can be a little hard when you haven't seen the sun properly in ages next question i got was what was the uk calendar girls experience like for you now if you didn't know i entered the uk calendar girls last year and i won so i am miss april 2024 which means my month and the calendar is actually coming up very soon very excited about that but the experience is basically if you couldn't guess in the uk where you compete to win a place in the calendar. I definitely think I learned a lot. I made some friends and these are people that I, you know, see myself seeing again in the future and I still speak to. And yes, they're all in like the same industry work-wise as me and I kind of knew some of them before. A few of them I didn't, so it was nice to make those connections. And I definitely have a lot of experiences and memories that I'm not gonna forget. I'm just gonna go in with this darker brown on the outside of my eyes. But yeah, I've never had my photos taken by professional photographers before. It's always just me 
taking my own photos so it was different but it was nice and I think I realized how much I enjoy modeling and it definitely took me out of my comfort zone like I when I entered I was like listen just just try it you don't even expect to win just give it a go see what it's like don't pass up this opportunity it might be really good and I'm really proud of myself for sticking with it and actually winning it. One thing I would say about it is it is very expensive. I think, you know, I spent a lot of money on travel and as much as I did actually enjoy the traveling, I complained about it, but I enjoyed it. I think that it was costly, you know, with hotels and having to pay for outfits and getting to shoots and stuff like that. So it definitely was, a bit of an investment and I was luckily in a place to be able to do that. Uh, it was fun, the front cover shoot was very fun. We went to Drake's Island which is just off of Plymouth and we spent the day shooting in costumes and stuff and it was it was a great, great experience and I would definitely not have changed it at all. I'm really glad that I put myself out there and I actually did it. <laughs> okay, highlighting in the inner corner of my eyes and on my brow bone because Gotta get some of that depth in, you know? Here's me acting like I know what I'm talking about when I am not a makeup artist. People do always ask me like, oh my God, how do you do your makeup like that? And I just, I don't think it's perfect, you know? Like, it's definitely a little bit messy sometimes and it's still, you can tell that I'm not a professional. However, it's just years and years of practice. I've been doing makeup since I was like, 13 and learning new things and I used to sit and watch videos in my room on YouTube of tutorials and copy and stuff like that. So someone asked me if I am religious and the answer to that is no, I am not. I have absolutely nothing against people who are religious. And I think for some people, you know, faith can be a really important thing. However, sometimes I do think that religion can be a root cause of quite a few problems too. I also think that when people use religion as an excuse to try and force their views on somebody, I don't like that at all. I think you do whatever is right for you, but don't bring that into other people's lives, especially when they haven't asked for your opinion on it or want to change their views on it. You know, I think that applies to everything in life in general, but I think Sometimes people think that the hiding behind their religion can give them a free pass to say or do whatever they want in regards to other people's beliefs or the way other people live their lives. And I think if being religious makes your life better, absolutely go for it. If it has impacted your life in any positive way, that's amazing. But I also think you have to sort of respect the lives of other people who don't believe in the same things as you do. And it's not to say that it's every religious person is like that. Of course, it's the same with everything. A lot of things get a bad reputation for the actions of a small minority of people. And I do find religion extremely interesting. You know, I think there's a lot to learn. And I think the way that people live their lives because of religion is extremely interesting. I just personally don't have any belief of a kind of higher being or anything like that. I'm just gonna smudge this out with my fingers. And then before I put fake lashes on, I'm just gonna coat my eyelashes in mascara. Okay, I'm gonna let that mascara dry and do my nose contour. Told you, very weird order to do my makeup in. And I think the final question I'm gonna answer is how do I keep my skin looking so good? Which first off, thank you. Full transparency, like the internet is an easy place to make your skin look better than it actually is. There are so many filters and smoothing features nowadays and pimple removing features that it can be easy to sort of hide what your skin actually looks like. And I definitely have texture on my face, you know? I've actually been going through a really frustrating time at the moment of getting a lot of spots and my skin's actually cleared up a little bit more now, but I have never dealt with acne. I've been really blessed genetically. So I think that is a big part of things. I used to get like hormonal spots when I was a teenager on my forehead. But other than that, I've never really dealt with acne, just the odd spot here and there. But I have started using better skincare and looking after my skin a lot more. 
and I do think it helps like at least make my skin look a bit less dull and it definitely feels a lot smoother. I've noticed like my makeup application is a lot better for it too but I always make sure to double cleanse so I use an oil-based cleanser and a water-based cleanser to remove my makeup and even if I just did that and moisturized, I think my skin would feel phenomenal. As someone who wears makeup fairly consistently, like I still make sure to take breaks. I don't wear it every single day like I used to. I think that when you take it off, it's important that taking it off is like the thing that you focus on the most. And then I use a serum, a moisturizer, and an eye cream and there's definitely a few other things i use occasionally like hydrating sprays and oh and i use toners and stuff like that the main thing for me is just making sure my skin is cleaned and then using a light moisturizer i've also noticed that when i go too overboard with my skincare like i know the big thing at the moment is to do like 20 layers of skincare but i've noticed as someone who doesn't have like awful skin that actually makes it worse so don't overdo it and i also for the past maybe year now i've been using an spf on my face every single day even when i don't leave the house or even if it's a cloudy day or it's the middle of winter i'll put spf on i don't think that makes any sort of short-term effects to my skin but definitely in the long term it's going to be beneficial i think the most important thing is find what works for you find products that work for you find out if you need you know more products or less products. I definitely think taking inspiration from other people's skincare and like makeup and stuff can really be beneficial and help you find stuff that works for you. Not everything is gonna work for everyone. Just put some highlighter on my nose. Don't feel like, oh, well this person's got like porcelain clear skin. Why is mine not like that when I use the same stuff as them? And it's probably because they got different skin type to you or because they're using filters or a smoothing filter. Okay, and I always get questions about my lips. Someone actually asked me, like, what black lip products do I use? Now, I have been using this NYX Line Loud Lip Pencil, and it's just in black, and this is pretty damn good. I like doing the line around the edge of my lips. I really should have sharpened this. And then I kind of bring it a little bit onto my lips, but not too much, just around the edge. And then depending on how I'm feeling, I will change up the color in the middle. But today I'm going to go with red. And I literally just put this on the middle. Now let's take these out. Definitely going to need to take a hair straightener to the middle of my hair because it is split on the fringe. But this is the finished makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you did. I really enjoyed chatting to you guys. I really enjoyed doing my makeup on camera for you. I have been requested this a lot of times, so it was nice to finally do it. And I hope you all have an amazing day. I will see you next week for another video. Goodbye.